Yeah, which one of these um, semifinals would you say the semifinals of that? I think it's semifinal two, you know, the one with Shelly. Final Olympic dance. Cool. Welcome, Sports Nation, to Sports DTM, the sports channel where we call sports down the middle. You can expect the latest in sports news, views, and reviews from our resident analysts. No sports topic is too controversial, and no team or player is above criticism. So just smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on our balanced offering of riveting sports content. And don't forget to like, share, and leave a comment below. Welcome to Sports DTM. So, greetings, Sports DTM fans, and welcome to another episode of Sports Down the Middle, your channel of undiluted sports content. Raymond and I are here to preview the women's 100 meter semi finals at the Paris Olympic Games. Raymond, how do you feel? I feel excited. I couldn't wait for the athletics to begin and only to have it begin with some really, really good running. And so I'm very, very excited to see what is in store. So we have the lineup for the eat. There will be three eats of semifinals. And you can just imagine after what we saw in the first round with everybody running, sub-11 to win each of the, the, the eats to now have three semifinals with top two from each semifinal advancing to the final plus the next best of the losers. So two of the losers will advance to the finals. I'm going to share with you semi-final number one. We we'll start with semi-final number one. This will feature the Jamaican Sasha Lee Forbes. And I'm going to just stick to the, 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 the big names. Marie Oze Talu, Dina Asha Smith, Kambonji, Melissa Jefferson, Sasha Lee Forbes, Eva Saboda. I mean... When you look at this for a semi-final, who going to make it out? Uh, well, Kirk, it's 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 really tricky, and I only say it's really tricky because we we actually want Sasha Lee Forbes to make it to the finals. I mean, she she came in late for as a replacement for Sherika Jackson, and so we're expecting her to. Well, we want her to make it for the finals, so that's why I, I speak of it of being tricky. However. With that said, <clears throat> some of the obvious persons we could expect to make it to the, to the finals are pretty much Melissa Jefferson, um, Dina Asha Smith, and and Talu. So you have you have those persons that you know likely to make it to the finals, and you have the person who possibly have to hope that they go go through as a fastest loser. And so my three for this for this would be um, Melissa Jefferson. Talu and Dina Asha Smith. So you're already declaring that one of the losers will make it out from this semifinal. Could very well be. I mean, they know what, what it takes, and so they know that they have to go put out and run sub 10.9 pretty much in the semifinal rounds. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe even sub sub 10.85. And some of these at least don't have that in them. So let us see what, what will happen. I mean, I agree with you that some of these at least will really have to run faster than their personal best if they want to secure that top two spot in this semifinal and in the other two semifinals as well. So fans out there, let us know which two at least from this first eat will make it through to the final. So we go up to the eat number two. Eat number two, <laughs> we're looking at Shelly and Fraser Price, Shakira Richardson, Julian Alfred, <laughs> Raymond. Yeah, um, Kurt, I know we, we said this could very well be the, the, um, the heat of death. And I can't see why we said that. Because you have Shelley and Fraser Price in it and Julian Alfred. Some of these persons consistently for the season has run, run below 11 seconds and even below 10.9 and, and, and stuff like that. So... From this one, I would like to think that Shelly and Fraser Price would be one of the top two in this one. She, she can't she have to put it up down on the track to ensure easy qualification. And I know Shakira Richardson would come with her A game. And Julian Alfred is one that keeps getting faster and faster. And 
has no means of slowing down and expecting to, to coast into the, to the final. So she would always try to do her best. And so those are the three persons from this um, semi-final that I'm expecting to, to go through. So now I've spoken about the, 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 um, the fastest losers so far from the first semi-finals and this. I think that's it for the, for the, semi, um, the, the, the three fastest losers um, situation. I mean, the two fastest loser situation. They're coming from the both semifinals that we just spoke of, the one before and this one as well. So you talk about um, last dance for Shelian, and this is first dance for Shakira Richardson. But there's always this talk that Julian Alfred might be that dark horse that will snatch that gold medal from the two. Well, Kirk, she has to make it to the finals first, you know. She's strong it's one of the favorites to make it to the finals and that's as far as i'll go right now in speaking of it of course meddling she's very much capable of doing that too i mean um rosemary from nigeria is no slouch either she has gone so 10 9 this season with her personal best and season's best being 10 88 we can't write her out either but as you mentioned top three will be between lanes five, six, and seven. Yeah, yeah, very much so. I mean, good thing with Rosemary is that she'll be able to run her own race out there in lane one, you know, so it's just a matter of getting a good start. But we all know the fastest starters um, race within the, the middle lanes and Shelly and Fraser is, is one such person. All right, and for eat number three, eat number three is, um, some would say, the less fancy of all the the three eats. Tina, I mean, sorry, Tia Clayton is in this race. Terry from the United States. Daryl Nita, Abs, I mean, top two. There, there won't be any fastest losers from this. I I doubt it. Um, the two persons, um, it's uh, Audrey Ledo. Um, surprisingly, I didn't expect her. She looks so good. In in um in the in the, the early round. round right so it, it, it's as she for me would possibly be the dark horse because we I didn't expect her to look that well and so because of that she might very much book a spot into the finals also Tia Clayton you know Tia Clayton um, that ten point eight six is really impressive and we almost think that she leaves out on the track and should be able to make it into the finals well I mean she don't have a choice she have to leave it out on the track she wanted to make yeah. it to the, to the finals and in some circles we hear that at the national trials where she ran 10 8 6 she wasn't at her best and the persons are open to see her at her best and this is the opportunity definitely to show that you're better than that um the yeah. rest of the field if, if there was ever a dark horse for me in this one um i could almost feel like daryl nita um could also find herself there too um Let's let's see. She she could very well much find herself there too. But to, to be certain, who you say are the top two? Will that will make it from this race? Um, Tia Tia Clayton. Um, sorry, let me switch around. Tia Clayton and Daryl Nita, and then Led Up would be the, the the dark horse from this one. So Terry will be out of it. I I feel like Terry might not find her way into the finals. So so fans out there, they. The highly anticipated track and field section of the Olympic Games are upon us. And one of the most anticipated events of these Olympic Games is the women's 100 meters. And they are upon us. The semifinals are now out there. And we have reviewed the three semifinals with some predictions. So you can leave who you think will make it through to the finals in the comment section below. And in every in the last four Olympics, Jamaica win uh, all of the medals. I think we've only we won three in one and two in the other two. I mean, so that means we have always had people in the finals of the Olympic Games, and we don't think that this will be any different. We're not sure if it'll be one, two, or three, but we know that Jamaica will be there. So fans out there, let us know who you think from Jamaica team will make the final by leaving your comments in the comment section below and always remember to like share and to subscribe 
and to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell all of them friends to come and join the sports DTM family. Raymond and I signing out, saying, be blessed.